After six years away from competition, Winston Gypsy Peters made a triumphant return to reclaim the Extempo Monarch title. Gypsy beat seven other finalists, among them last year's champ, Lingo. Ian Wayson tells us how it went down. It was a fierce battle in the final round. Gypsy against Lingo, 12 verses of Pekong, pound for pound. Lingo accusing Gypsy of stealing. With the judge's decision, I have to disagree. The final should never be with Gypsy. I tell you plain and candidly, I would have preferred to sing against Myron B. But right now, I want all you know, we still have to continue with the show. They treat you with sympathy, that is my belief. Because they know that you is a water and mattress thief. And of course, Gypsy fired back on his way to yet another extempo title. I thief water, it is plain to see, and give it to your sister, cause she was thirsty. And bingo boy, let me tell you this, why I had to get a few more mattress. The one was by she, well I had to stop. If you see how the damn thing was so tear up, so to tell you the truth, I had to get more, cause a tire jamming she on the floor. According to an elated gypsy, he wasn't far from the art form while he was away from competition, serving as a government minister. Well, I feel good, you know, it's, I, I feel good. When I wasn't there, I supported the guys and I make sure that, you know, that, that they keep the art form alive. Of course. And of course, I am a Calypsonian, I am an entertainer, I am an extempo singer. And I'm here this evening and I feel very, very good. I feel good to know that I'm back and I, I'm able to win. And the people appreciated, the people felt satisfied that I won. And to me, that is good. You know, you really can't please everybody. In the earlier rounds, it was a mixed bag of chips. Some do difficult topics like visa face. You could tell me what is going wrong. Tell me why so many people getting turned down. They go over there to that place and get turned down with no disgrace. They don't even get a reason. Others got lucky with topics from the prelims. And I want you to take my marriage advice. If you want the marriage last, I tell you, of course, you have to make your wife feel that she is the boss. And as become the norm, the incredible Myron B used the rum and Coca-Cola melody and even Lingo used it in the semi-final duel. Listen to what Myron have to say. Them woman and them does really lie and I'm in come here to make no mama cry. One tell me the country is going good partner. The biggest woman liar is Kamala. Well, Myron B, you're talking my mind. I want to believe that you're color blind. Because I tell you, your suit is gray. You say that it is really green today. But I telling you, listen the truth. I know the correct color of your suit. And I telling you, boy, this ain't no mama guy. The woman talk truth, all your man does lie. Whatever the melody or the result, the patrons were pleased. Very good. Good results. All right. The judges' decision is final, so that's good. I could go. I could live with that. <laughs> it was such a great night. I thoroughly enjoyed it. The music was so authentic. Also on the night, Carrie Nashe took the prize in the social commentary category, while Dwayne O'Connor beat Kroko and Chuck Gordon in the political commentary. Ian Wilson, C News.